Uh, this video what we're going to do is just demonstrate the QuickBooks uh, integration with Zoho. If we have a look here, this is my QuickBooks client list and you'll see that at the moment there's no Armstrong uh, there at all. So what we need to do is return to QuickBooks. I will search for Armstrong. Find that account. And the idea is uh, you don't integrate the account itself, you actually integrate the contact. So let's locate one of the contacts, so I'll select Peter. This is Peter's record, and what we need to do is, um, I've got an option here that says add to QuickBooks, so simply select this and this will define this record as being the one we want to integrate with QuickBooks. So the first step is really to synchronize the account. The second step will show the invoice working. Now what we've got running at the bottom here is a um, QuickBooks application that does integration with third-party products. So I'm going to now just run that. And the concept would be that you would um, run this uh, on the accountant's uh, PC and um, it would be running maybe every 30 minutes or something. There's an auto run feature here that you would turn on and then you would set this maybe to run every 30 minutes, every 60 minutes, something like that. So you, it just runs in the background and uh, everyone carries on doing their work and then from time to time you'll get this syncing correctly uh, with um, Outlook and um, QuickBooks. So once this process is running, what I'm expecting to see is if we go over to QuickBooks, I will expect to see that Armstrong has been created as an account there. And then the next step is that we'll um, create an invoice and then we'll see if that can be mapped across as well. So it should be just about finished now. couple more seconds. Once we find it gets to about 50 you'll find that there it goes, it completes very quickly. Alright, let's go across to here now and sure enough um, Armstrong has been created including Pete's details etc. So that, that's good. So that's the first step which is the integration of the account itself. Now this time what we'll do is we'll raise an invoice and we'll see if we can um, get that to synchronize with QuickBooks. So I'm sitting on Peter's record, so if we scroll down um, on Peter's record, we'll find the invoice module at the bottom here, invoice. So we'll select new invoice. Um, we'll just say signed order was the purchase order reference. I'll just put the word invoice number here for the moment uh, and we'll come back. Uh, status is uh, delivered. The invoice date can be today. The due date can be tomorrow. And we'll just scroll down a little bit more. We will copy the billing address to also be the shipping address. And we'll add a product that. Uh, purchase so we'll just use Google Apps for example for business which is this one and we'll say they're going to buy three copies and the price is 390 and you'll see that uh, the contact name Peter that's all filled in that's great so now we just select OK so the invoice has been created the only final step I need to do the way the integration is working at the moment is move the invoice number across to the subject field and then what we can do is we'll run the integration uh, one more time and we'll see what happens and hopefully what we should see now is that invoice coming across um, to the Armstrong account and then uh, that uh, that integration is complete Okay, let's go across to QuickBooks now. And, well, there we go. Armstrong has an invoice. It's the same invoice number. Let's have a look. 
Yep. Yeah. 75180. 75180. And here's my invoice. So that's all working and um, is, is very good. Thank you.